when people get on a brain healthy program, which means no drinking, their erections get better, they get harder. Nice. Welcome back to the Wilson Brothers. This is the Viking. And here we have the Wilsons. And today we are doing a video on just how damaging alcohol is to the brain. Ooh. I think we're specifically talking about how it affects uh, sex and sleep. Yeah. Because this video is like 20 minutes, so we chose a very specific portion. It's a really interesting topic because for a long time, society has been trying to tell us that drinking a glass of wine every single day is healthy for us and so on and so forth. And science is starting to prove that wrong. What are you seeing as far as slow wave sleep, as far as non-REM sleep versus REM sleep, when you have even a small amount of alcohol? Because unfortunately, a lot of people will only talk about the studies where people are just getting completely wasted. Have you seen anything with even just a small amount of alcohol that can how that can impact sleep? It decreases REM sleep. It decreases the most restorative part of your sleep cycle. And a lot of people I say, oh, I drink to go to sleep, but it wakes them up in the middle of the night because it had suppressed their neurons, which then springboard back, you know, even more anxious than before, well, then they'll have another drink, and that's how addiction starts. Yeah. Mm. And so you, it disrupts sleep, uh, especially the most restorative sleep. And I think people, f well, and from what I understand, it seems to sort of consolidate some of the cycles early on, so then the later on in the sleep is where you really end up paying the price, which of course is during your REM phases. And people often forget that the most in addition to REM, one of the most important times of your restorative sleep is when you are having uh, those growth hormone pulses, which are also very important. So I always like to sort of bake and wrap this a little bit with, yes, there is directly a link with body composition as well. Because people think, well, you know what? It, unfortunately, there's this dichotomy. There's this like difference in this line of delineation between health and fitness. It's unfortunate, but some, what's always for fitness isn't always healthy. And I know a lot of people, even in the fitness community, that are very lean, very look very healthy on the surface, but they will drink like fishes. And say, well, clearly it's working for me. Well, what's happening long term, what's happening on the inside, that's not going to be sustainable. And that's not exactly the best way to be going about things. When you're consistently suppressing growth hormone, when you're consistently, uh, I mean, there's so many links to visceral fat accumulation and alcohol consumption, which when you're young and sure, maybe that's not an issue, but when you start to have lipopolysaccharides and you start to have all these inflammatory issues that arise as a result of all this visceral fat that accumulates, mm -hmm. uh, then you start running into a problem. They don't call it a beer belly for nothing too. Well, let's talk about sex. Because, I mean, if we're talking about fitness, you know, people get fit because they want to be more attractive often. And I often say if you have blood flow problems anywhere, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. So when people get on a brain healthy program, which means no drinking, their erections get better. They get harder. Nice. They last longer. <laughs> Why? because you're helping your blood vessels work better. They become more pliable, they become uh, healthier, they become more, react more reactive, and your blood pressure begins to drop. So I often see from alcohol low blood flow in the brain. They often tell me they have erectile dysfunction as well. Wow. Like, well, if we get blood flow to your brain healthy, if you avoid things that hurt it, like alcohol, caffeine, marijuana, nicotine, um, and you eat better and you're exercising, better blood flow to your brain, but then your love life gets better. I love that. It's like one of the biggest effects of a brain healthy life is your love life's better. Okay, wow. so... That sounds awesome to me. Uh, yeah. Better erections. It's like a uh, natural Viagra. <laughs> the sleeps is something that can be anecdotally proven as well. Cause like, I know there's times in my life where I've drinking and slept all throughout the night and by all appearances felt like I did get good sleep, but still wake up unbelievably groggy and tired. And it's yeah. obviously because like you never actually really enter into that REM cycle like you're supposed to. Well, we've all, we've all seen those people where we've slept in the same room as them, whether it be, I, you know, we've stayed at hotels together where they, the other keeps waking up and they're, but they're not awake. You notice that where they're like turning over and they're like, 
And they're like, but then they pass right back out again. <laughs> and so that was oddly specific. And so, I mean, I've seen you Looks do this. Like I you. think you used to have a little bit of sleep apnea back. In yeah, time. I did. When I was drinking a lot, I used to yeah. have really bad sleep. And apnea. so you would, you know, one of us would snore. I'm not going to call it that person. One of us would snore and then they would be like, <laughs> and then they would yeah, like, it was wake scary. up. Sleep then, apnea is scary, <laughs> man. <laughs> and they'd be like, <laughs> and yeah, then and then bad. they never realized they woke up in the middle of the night, but they did. Yeah, and so they're not able to get into that deep sleep. That's that's fascinating because most of the time, if I drink a lot, which is not very often, but if I do drink a lot, yeah, I feel like I slept the entire night. But then my wife's next to me, and she'll say, "You were snoring the whole night. You kept waking yourself up. I thought I thought you were choking on something." <laughs> Yeah. Well, your REM cycle is, scientifically is from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is like the best time. The best time to, to go into The it. problem is, think about it in the hookup culture, dating, bar scene, when are people drinking? From 10 to from 2. From 10 to 2. So you're literally pouring poison into your body when your body's trying to sleep and yeah. get a REM cycle going. Yeah. So by the time you get home, you lay in bed, and you actually do fall asleep, you're not really asleep. Yeah. Your body's saying... I'm trying to digest all this alcohol. Your liver's overcompensating. Your body can't do that naturally. So it's in panic mode. How do you think you're going to get good sleep? It's like, it's like a forced reset on a computer instead of shutting it down properly. You just blew my mind, fam. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> well, as a scientist of the group, because you do way more studying of biology than we did, before you watched this, because you had seen this before, did you know this or was this new information? Well, no, because this is relatively new information. Like these are wow. new studies that are starting to come out. Mm -hmm. um, and even in terms of the sex stuff, like in terms of blood flow, um, that's really important too, because there's two ways that uh, the medical field will try to lower blood pressure. One way is by thinning your blood, which really is not healthy. It's not healthy to thin your blood, which alcohol does do. The healthiest way is to dilate your blood vessels as much as possible. So that way, your consistency of your blood can stay the same, but just flow more free, freely. Mm. Um, is there any side effects to dilating your blood vessels? I mean, how do you no. do that? How do you dilate your citrulline uh, malate? Yeah, citrulline malate's a great way of doing it. Um, I mean, there's quite a few supplements that'll do that, but citrulline is the best. Um, Cialis, um, really all drugs that are prescribed as, as erectile dysfunction drugs do exactly that. They dilate the blood vessels for the sake of the heart. Um, what are some natural ways? Um, I know citrulline malate's like more of a supplement uh, Cialis is more of a prescription medication. What are some natural ways that men can dilate their blood vessels more? Is it just eating healthier, you know, taking supplements, working out more, not drinking as much? Well, yeah, I mean, working out's a really big one. Um, working out will help. Um, eating clean will help, obviously, because if you're not eating stuff that's clogging your arteries, then, you know, you're obviously going to get better blood flow. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, in terms of like specifically, um, dilating your blood vessels it's usually through supplementation and also i know especially for sex dehydration is oh one dehydration is probably the thing biggest too. thing that of erectile dysfunction in my opinion again i'm not a scientist is if you're dehydrated then you struggle in that area and what does alcohol do it's the number one you. thing that will dehydrate you i know this so, wasn't in this specific video but i do want to mention it for men out there because this we're talking to men pornography kills any type of erectile or it creates erectile dysfunction specifically when you're in the bedroom it, it doesn't allow you to have that actual intimate connection that you want with your spouse watch our porn video down and below. we have a <laughs> we have a video on porn below that we that we can show you guys and it goes a little bit more in depth on that side of things but on the alcohol side coming back to this i know for me that when i drink even if I'm hydrate before I go out and drink, I still feel like crap the next day yeah. because my REM cycle got messed up. My sleep, I have the weirdest dreams when I drink. The hideousness of that foot will haunt my dreams forever. <laughs> you know, it's my brain yeah. is all over the place. I'm not, I don't wake up refreshed. I don't feel like I can tackle the next day. And even scientists or studies have said that for 36 hours after you get drunk, your body is in like, 
repair mode mm-hmm. and you get a hangover you you can't you can't adequately think straight as well you can't absorb nutrients can't yeah. absorb nutrients because even if you're in ketosis or any type of you know diet that they recommend out there today carnivore your body can't start burning fat until it burns the alcohol yep because it, yep. it's got to deal with the toxin first. it's got to deal with the toxin first so i love this video it really changes the way that i view alcohol i know that it wasn't good for you but I didn't know it affected you this intensely in your REM cycles. I mean, it makes sense, but that the way that he explained it was very informative. Well, yeah. the, the biggest time that your body fights cancer and also if you've been working out repairs your body is when you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. So if you're constantly waking up, you're not only making it so you're going to be tired the next day, you're not able to fight cancer. Yeah. You're not able to actually get stronger. Yeah. And I've noticed that when I, when I, when I drink, the next three days, my workouts crap. And it's because my body couldn't repair properly from previous workouts. So that's another thing. This video specifically was about sleep and sex, but even about working out, if you're trying to get jacked, you need yes, quality you sleep. Like, it's just going to, it's going to prevent it from being as fast. As yeah. It, it affects every area of your life. Guys, we really appreciate you. Thank you for watching. We're going to have more videos linked here and here. Check out our supplements below. Uh, it's helps support the channel. Citrulline is below. citrulline, malate, creatine, all the supplements that we take that we stand behind on a regular basis that we buy is down below. That helps support the channel if you guys purchase it through those links. So we really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe and you find value in this. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Peace. Peace. Peace.